Hi everyone, this video is about dark room techniques for stimulating the pineal gland. So Mantak Chia is an expert on this topic and I highly recommend Dark Retreat and his other works for further insight and understanding. Also, the visionary teacher and cosmologist Ananda Bosman has taught dark room techniques for activating pineal metabolism since 1992. Matthew 4.16 tells us, the people which sat in darkness saw great light, and to them which sat in the region and shadow of death, light is sprung up. In monastic Christian tradition, monks practiced different forms of asceticism, which included retreats into dark caves or cells to focus on their prayer, to focus on meditation and to um, encourage divine illumination, inner illumination. In fact, many different cultural and historical groups have practiced what is now known as dark room techniques for many, many years. The ancient Egyptians had seclusion chambers in their pyramids. The Japanese Yamabushi or mountain hermits retreated to their caves. The Sufi mystics practice daikir, meaning remembrance of God in the dark specifically. And all of these groups and many others have utilized the power of darkness as a means to disconnect from external stimuli, fostering an environment where inner visions and spiritual experiences can flourish. Each tradition integrates these practices into their broader spiritual frameworks, aiming for enlightenment, for divine connection and profound personal transformation. Dark room technology encourages the release of endogenous DMT and the biochemicals of enlightenment by isolating the mind away from external light. DMT activates the whole spine, the whole tree of life, synonymous with the Dajedi, the Staff of Hermes, the Caduceus, etc. Once activated, these elements can be reprogrammed to potentially unlock new levels of physical and spiritual transformation. Mantak Chia explains that when the third eye or pineal gland is closed off from external light, it overflows with certain neurotransmitters that are said to activate the brain's higher functions, enhancing the brain's ability to imprint new experiences and to reprogram itself to, so to heal and to overcome blockages. This process can also lead to what some describe as an instant experience of being, where you feel a heightened state of awareness and presence of your space and your oneness with everything. The dark room technique is believed to reactivate the fundamental developmental instructions in our embryonic cells, awakening the Kundalini energy within us. Kundalini energy, which is of course closely linked to DNA, can help us achieve a deeper state of consciousness and to process the illusion of the dream from its binary code into what's known as the unity self.
when we talk about transforming our dreams into a unified sense of self, we're referring to a process where the boundaries between the conscious and the unconscious mind begin to blur or become fuzzy. In this state, the illusions and fragmented experiences of our dreams and our waking visions can be integrated into a cohesive and harmonious understanding of ourselves. And this integration can help us to achieve inner harmony and create a sense of wholeness within ourselves. It can enhance self-awareness and understand the deeper meanings behind our dreams and subconscious thoughts and visions, which leads to personal growth and a, a better understanding of our desires, of our fears, of our motivations, of the things that might be holding us back or the things that, you know, are too prominent in us and it can help us improve our mental and our emotional health by helping to resolve internal conflicts and to reduce physiological and psychological distress. By unifying the different aspects of ourselves, we become more aligned with our truth, with our purpose and potential, enabling us to make meaningful changes in our lives. In the macrocosm, I can light a candle or switch on a lamp to bring light to a darkened room. And in the microcosm, the stimulated pineal gland brings light to our consciousness. Absolute darkness has an initiatory quality. The cessation of external stimuli facilitates internal focus and connection. Chia, Bosmond and other experts advocate darkroom technology as a means for core reprogramming and for exercising, decalcifying and re-stimulating a hardened pineal gland. And one incredible benefit of this practice is said to be being able to witness sound becoming light. In the beginning was the word, sound or vibration, and the word was with God, and the word was God, John 1, 1 and Genesis 1, 3, and God said or sounded, let there be light. These verses are all talking about how sound vibrations and frequencies manifest as light, and that is the beginning of creation because then light coalesces into subatomic particles and atoms and atoms create molecules and molecules create cells and so on and so forth. So they're saying that dark room technique can allow the mind to perceive creation on a subatomic level or to view the usually invisible light world in a very literal way. It's said that this experience of entering or experiencing the point of primordial luminosity culminates in a rebirth of spirit, in a total renewal of the self. In Mantak Chia's version of this ancient tradition, he sequesters participants in total darkness for over a week in order to fully arouse pineal metabolism and the production of endogenous DMT and the other biochemicals of enlightenment. His studies have allowed him to observe the following phases experienced in this practice. 
So days one to three are the death of the ego experience or the melatonin state. Days three to five are the energy body experience, lucid dreaming and astral projection, and that's the pinaline state. Days six to eight are the telepathy and white light experience, and that is the DMT state. And then days nine to 12 are the clear light and immortal body experience. And then at the end, the participant leaves through a tunnel, slowly reintegrating with external light. And this final stage is symbolic of the birth or rebirth that they've undertaken within those transformative days. And the scientific explanation of this process given by Chia is that the deprivation of external lights causes pinaline to trigger monoamine oxidase inhibition. This allows the pineal glands serotonin melatonin cycle to be intercepted by adrenaline and ephedrine creating a serotonin DMT pathway. When DMT levels reach more than 25 milligrams, one's experience can become very visual. DMT is the visual third eye neurotransmitter. It enables the energy body and spirit to journey into hyperspace beyond third dimensional realms of time and space. And that's from the pineal gland, the eye of God by the lovely Mantak Chia. In the Unity Keys of Emmanuel, Bosman describes monoamine oxidase inhibition, also known as the inhibition of NMDA receptors, as a form of electrical anesthesia. He explains that this deep transcendent state triggered by external light deprivation is actually brought on by the heart's resonance at eight hertz, which eventually leads to the activation of the 1000 hertz petaled lotus, which would be parallel with the descriptions of Christ consciousness in the Bible book of Revelation. He further says that the key components involved in this process are specific chemicals like harmaline, pinaline, harmine DMT and 5-MeO DMT, saying that these substances along with NMDA inhibitors create a high spin state within the DNA water molecule and that pinaline in particular interacts with DNA and enabling a kind of superconductivity which extends intercellularly and enhances the overall energetic and spiritual dynamics of the body. And that's when people are said to like have like a glow or a sheen or a certain energy about them because those are the chemical and energetic shifts that are happening within at a very deep cellular and chemical level. So in conclusion, dark room techniques are ancient methods used to stimulate the pineal gland and to enhance spiritual consciousness. Experts highlight the profound benefits of these practices, such as activating neurotransmitters like DMT and the healing pinaline to achieve higher states of awareness and presence and to totally transform or, or be reborn. And these techniques have their roots in many traditions, all aiming for enlightenment and for personal transformation, for personal growth. And I must add that this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Uh, I must say that because of the YouTube guidelines, I don't want anybody to go out there and do anything silly because it's essential to approach 
dark room practices with caution. Your spiritual path will unfold gradually and naturally without needing any extreme measures. And these dark room techniques, in my opinion, are a very advanced method for enhancing pineal activity and should not be approached lightly. While they may offer significant potential for spiritual growth, it's vital to conduct your own further research and to fully understand the process before attempting or engaging in anything yourself. I love you all and I trust that you will use your own wisdom, intuition and discernment on your path. If you are looking to experiment with dark room techniques, I recommend consulting and maybe even practicing with a professional tutor in a safe environment. So I hope you've all enjoyed this video and found it interesting. Please don't forget to leave your comments and opinions in the box below. Um, and as always, the links to my books, to my courses and other resources can be found in the description box below this video. May divine love manifest itself in you all always and in all ways. Namaste.